can't use that one. <laughs> 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 I can't use that. Get demonetized for sure. <laughs> Hey, um, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Rick. You follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Do it, you sick content. Ah! Oh, my nipples. <sighs> Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. You'll get more of that juicy content. Yeah. You know what I don't like? What? When I know that it has to happen, but like when dogs are nursing, their nipples are looking pretty rank. <laughs> They're hanging down really long and low. And the hair around him is all matted down from the sucklings. <laughs> I don't like mama dog nipples after they've had their suckling sucking on their nipples. Today we got a food video. Oh! And this is actually from the uh, Best Ever Food Review Show. Oh, great. Cool. Uh, apparently he's back in India. <gasps> or, or at least, I don't know. Or was. I, I don't know, because this is from April 30th of 2022. Hey, hey, hey. Bizarre Indian street food combinations, old Delhi secret menu. All right. Um, and so maybe he's back in India. Um, bizarre, not just Indian street food, but bizarre Indian street food. Bizarre is an odd bizarre, or is in like a lot of people together selling. Watch things. and find out. Hey, the outside is made out of butter that has been dyed green. The inside, it's unripened curd cheese. It's one of those foods. The more I look at it and try to handle it, the less I have an idea of what this is going to taste like. That is bizarre. It looked like cabbage, not green butter. What the? Good morning, Jiminy Christmas. Hey, we are doing it big. I've probably been to over ten cities in. Just to eat street food. I've had the biryanis and the dosas and all of the classics. Today we come to Old Delhi for something special. I'm looking for the most unique street food you will find anywhere. I'm not talking food that goes back for thousands of years. I'm talking food creations that are new, that are pushing the envelope, that are going to blow your freaking brain off of your shoulders. We're starting the day in Old Delhi. It is wild, it is raucous. I am on a rickshaw powered by a man's quadriceps. <laughs> Very excited. We have a lot of food to try today. Things that I guarantee you have never seen before. Stick around because you don't want to miss it. Does not look appetizing to me. I wouldn't blame you for that. Right now, we are in the back alleys of Old Delhi. This is where you find the really good street food. Parata, chapati, that's gonna be honest, I don't know what that says. Oh, Lassie, yeah, it's Lassie. So much good stuff here, and the best part is you can just see it from the street, you can point and you can order the electrical system. It's like an OCD person's <laughs> worst nightmare. <laughs> I mean, this is like a paradise for a monkey. We are very close to our first destination. You can tell because it's getting really loud. Let's move. We come to our first location. Here is where they're making something called parata. You can see all the different fielding options they have. There is peas and cheese and onions and chilies, tons of masala, salt, spices. So there's so much that can go in there. Usually it's something savory, but here they have a paratha like you've never seen before. Let me show you. Now, most places you just simply get the classic paratha, but here at Kata Babu Ram Davi Dayal Parante Wale. <laughs> They're doing things a little bit differently. We have chocolate paratha, mango paratha, and this one. This is what we're here for. Candy, Candy crush? Parata. It sounds like a disaster. We're going to see how they make it and <laughs> see if it is indeed delicious. This is the candy. It is dried candy fruit. Here, it's going to get fried first, and then I'm not sure what after that. Step one, put the candy in the pan, mix it about. Add some water. Next, add in some vanilla. Next, robbery. This is like condensed milk, essentially. The fruit is kind of become a bit melty. The smells off here are, are incredible. It's like cotton candy. There's no way this is good. The next step, he's putting in jam. Then they put in some almond powder. All that is going to go into the bread. I don't know that I'd like that. Out. You're just kind of crimping the edges. This is looking a lot more like a dumpling than a paratha. Next, it hits the ghee and gets fried up. This is legitimately my first meal of today. And it's <laughs> a wild one. First, 
I want to back up. Yes, I can show you this and explain how crazy it is, but you must see the comparison to really understand. This is much more of a classic paratha. This is a mixed stuffed one full of every different vegetable they have here. I wouldn't call it like a full serving of vegetables for the day, but it's something. I'm going to go with the chutney. I'm a big fan of chutney. I give it a little bit of a dip. It's dripping, it's fried, it's savory. It has to be delicious. It's more than a little bit. And spicy. Oh, that looks good. I love this stuff. That is the standard experience. That's actually not what we came here for. I came here for this right here. The candy paratha with curd on the side. It is a dessert paratha. Something I've never seen before. And I'm guessing many of you haven't either. Even if you live within 10 miles of this place, there's nothing <laughs> curd on it. I'm going to try it just like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it. It's almost like syrupy sweet. The candy, the vanilla, the jam, all those flavors together. It is so fragrant. It smells like you are in a confectionery. The last thing there is to do is try it with some of this yogurt to kind of cut the sweetness a bit. Oh yeah. Life is all about balance. Here we are. Basically eating dessert for breakfast, but it's okay because I piled on a spoonful of yogurt. That was funky. It's like a <laughs> brand new flavor of yogurt that just never made it past testing. <laughs> Success, a great start for the morning. I'm very impressed with what they've done here. We have set the goalpost high. We have a lot more to see. Interesting. Let's go. I would absolutely taste it. I just don't know that I'd like it. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I don't know. Because I like savory always over sweet. Nice timing on the horn. Of drinks and that's lassie very unique desserts. here it looks like a mini little watermelon i'm gonna order it right now he grabs it and he starts to cut it open as he cuts it open you can see it is resembling a watermelon a bit they put the whole thing here on top of a block of ice that's been covered in aluminum foil huh. that is to keep the outside solid i'm told the outside is made out of butter that has been dyed green the inside we googled it it's unripened curd cheese I, yeah i don't know what that is either it's imaginative and creative right here you can even and see like little mock seeds. Oh, and I'm trying to figure out the texture here. It feels like some kind of a thick sugary cake. It's one of those foods, the more I look at it and try to handle it, the less I have an idea of what this is gonna taste like. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, wow, that's a lot to figure out in one bite. So the inside <laughs> actually tastes more like a bread that's been saturated with a ton of syrup. It's very syrupy and sweet. Every time you take a bite of that red part, it's like gushing out sugary sweetness. On the outside, it's fluffy, but not so rich as, you know, pure butter would be. We're still pretty rich. And the seeds inside, turns out they are black cardamom. Not watermelon seeds at all. What a jib. This <laughs> dessert has jumped the shark. It has gone too far. Humanity is not ready for such foods. He is living in the year 3000, especially this man. He's in year 3022. He took a fruit, stripped out everything completely healthy about it, and replaced it with sweets <laughs> and fat and interesting mysteries. This is like if Elon Musk... Say hi to the Jonas desserts, Brothers. Roughly speaking, not really. They're and in the year 3000. Let's keep going. Hmm. found the monkey. <laughs> it's a nice bed. We're gonna feed it. Wish me luck. Don't feed it. Do you, do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> Wild man. He just eats a banana and drops a peel. He dropped it on that guy. <laughs> oh, up. oh my god. This place is awesome. <laughs> For food number three, it's getting wild, my man. You ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Some sticky dosa liquid that is gonna completely coat the surface here. Then butter and then tomatoes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Now we're talking. Now that's my language. Bell peppers. This is basically a salad at this point. It's a salad with a little bit of cheese on top. Oh, all day. After that, paneer. Oh, so one kind of cheese. Wow. Another kind of cheese. This one is tandoori sauce and a little bit of green chutney and then some cooking cream. Our salad just got a little bit less healthy. Tomato sauce, some masala, other masala, chili powder, other masala. Oh, no, all that is going to get the mash in action. This is a wild combination. Pretty much, it looks like everything they have in the refrigerator is going on here. <laughs> a little bit of water because it's getting dehydrated. This is something I would have made a sophomore year of college when I was high. Just kidding. I never 
made it to sophomore year. <laughs> here three times at three different schools, and then I quit. Butcher, you just put some paneer. So we have grated paneer. We have big cubes of paneer. Okay. And that will be laid to rest. It needs some alone time. Oh, he takes the lid off. It looks like it's been long enough, even though it's just been about 25 seconds. So many flavors. Very curious what that's going to taste like. Now that comes completely off. This is such a shocking what? turn of events. What's the dosa? Like yeah, I thought it was going to be stuffed, bowl, though. But the dosa is still there. It remains. Now more topping. Processed cheese being processed even more. He draws a line. He scrapes it around the edges, being careful to not cut it or crack it. And then right here. Oh, my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen such talent? He wow. Giant, and I believe that is going to come to rest right here. Yes. Like a giant funnel that is accepting only large quantities of love and deliciousness is not done yet. Oh no, he puts cream on top. He puts in some green stuff. I don't know what you'd even call that. This mash, this dipping sauce, this soup. I'm gonna go inside, try it out. It looks good. Oh my stars. That doesn't this is just prove that we live in a simulation. Because how could this have happened otherwise? We all know that Indian dosa. This is something else. Oh, there's a we got <laughs> here. I was trying to figure out what was up with the traffic here. I found the source of the traffic jam. No, it's not this guy. It's this it's that guy. guy. The cow just chilling, middle of the city. It's not something you see every day unless you're in India. That is remarkable. Oh my gosh, your friend is right down here. So you might be asking yourself, how are they surviving the city? There's not exactly expansive green raising pastures for the cows here, but people will feed them. Whatever cows eat, pretty awesome. All right, back to this. It's like an Indian Super Bowl dip full of spices, and it's super cheesy and smoky. You can see the dosa. That's so really good. good. Basically, everything that was in the dip has been kind of cooked on. Give that a little bit of a dip. See some of those vegetables, the cheese. Man, that everything. looks good. It does. Oh. One large that looks like a good thing for like a, a Super Bowl party. Yeah, exactly. I kind of can't believe it. This is legit delicious. The main flavor you're getting from it is kind of processed cheese and spices. You feel it. It's heavy. Definitely junk food. But... It's good junk food. Masterpiece. They create a new, fun, interesting dish and a new way of eating it. So instead of eating the dosa that's just too plump, full with all these ingredients that might end up getting soggy. I love dosa. dosa here. I love dosa so, so much. 25 cows on their way to a vegan rally. You can be inside in air conditioning. Take your time, sit back, relax, enjoy. location and this one is very exciting they're making ice cream in an old school way i don't even think oh ice cream what's the big deal no wait and trust me this is gonna be wild are we gonna be eating this ice that's on the sidewalk absolutely not it's gonna be put into this cylinder right behind me <laughs> after the ice good old-fashioned salt. salt to make that ice extra extra cold shut but that's not good enough they are going to seal the entire roller with dough this is some insane level engineering is this how they built the taj mahal this is pretty much <laughs> how they built the taj mahal this is the owner and inventor and his team this thing has to weigh about 200 pounds i cannot wait to see this here we go success i'm gonna right. spin it this is not the food. Obviously, this is a very unique tool. Right now, it's already even forming ice on the outside. And then the next part, he's gonna put on different ingredients. That is gonna freeze as soon as it hits the wheel. First, that is rubbery and cream. Next, he's putting on fruits, starting with papaya. Next, watermelon. Next, we have a banana. So this guy, he is doing great. His arms are probably a little bit tired, but I think he's crushing it. Here, tons of fruit going on, and it's just gonna be layered and layered as it continues to freeze. Oh, and then we got oranges. Next, pomegranate. Oh, wow, I've never seen someone squeeze a pomegranate. This guy has a death grip. And then we have some rose flavor going on next. This is a green flavor I've never heard of before. Then we got mango. The flavors are just never ending. Hungry customers cannot wait. They're tantalized by this action. <laughs> what is what's going on? Can I try a bite? Also, cow. Cow is excited as well. And my favorite fruit, Hershey's chocolate. This here is the end product. Mesmerizing, confusing. Was not expecting that. He uses a steel blade and he literally chips off everything that is frozen onto this incredible cool cylinder. Never seen anything like that. 
So it's almost like Dippin' Dots, oh. but with strips. Ooh. It is icy cold and so refreshing on a hot day like today. Such a mix of flavors. It's creamy. He's got that nice dairy base. I taste a little bit of the chocolate, but really, the taste that's peeking from behind the corner on the edge of my culinary periphery, it is that rose flavoring. Usually, I like roses for, like, giving to women, particularly my wife. Here, roses food, basically. I'm not a fan of the flavor of rose. Me too. Food. And even the texture. It's like little chipped ice cream noodles here. It takes them about eight, ten minutes to make one batch. We were the first customers of the day. And my gosh, it's almost sold out already. This is at Pomegranate Bites. Other delicious fruit juices. Let's try that out. Oh. It's so unique. I'm trying desperately to taste pomegranate. The only problem is that rose is so strong that it's hard to taste anything else. Super awesome. It's hot and dry like a desert. So this is a treat for the ages. One of the most unique street foods I've ever seen. I love what he's doing here. That is Very super unique. Fun, yeah, I've never seen anything like that. Tasty. Guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Super unique street food and recipes. Oh, food that looked amazing. Tell me what you thought in the comments down below. No. Would you try all the foods I tried today? Are some of them too outlandish? I would try them all. I would absolutely try them all. I don't know if I'd like that. Otherwise, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for yeah. watching. I'll see you next time. A peace. Oh, we planned it out. We've been working on this for days. They were going to pull up. They were going to say peace with me. A peace. And they're, oh my God. Okay, I give up. I worked with these guys. I paid them $1,000. <laughs> the best ever merch. Uh, uh, yeah, I would definitely try them all. I think that 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 Dosa one. Oh man, I don't know if it was so bizarre. I mean, the way he made it is bizarre, it was the way. Right? Yeah, rather than it being in a roll. Yeah, being like that cone. Yeah. And not having the filling in it, you dip it in the filling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the different thing. But, but yeah, uh, that one looks so good. I could eat that right now. Easily. That last one was super unique. I don't know if I'd like it just because of the rose. Of, me I'm too. I'm not a fan. I think that's one of the main reasons. I think they put a lot of rose or rose stuff in Bond. Yeah. I hate that flavor. Uh, yeah, I'm not I a big fan smells, of that flavor. I think it tastes like perfume. Yeah. And I don't want to eat perfume. I agree with you. Um, Like really florally perfume. And I'm not a big fan... Certain sweets I I will I will eat and I like, but I'm pretty particular about sweets because I like salty and savory yeah. every day of the week. Um, but that I love I completely never saw anything. You said like Dippin' Dots. It reminded me in the cold yeah, aspect, yeah, yeah, yeah. but not a wheel that you just start peeling the stuff off on. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, I like that. Um, but yeah, that's super unique. I would love to be able to obviously be in India for an extended period of time and try all these different things. Yeah. And it's just you need a long time to be there to try everything. You do. Um, and also because, you know, it takes a full 24 hours basically to get from where we are to India. Just to get there. <laughs> and so you don't want to waste it. Uh, and so um, anyways that was a fantastic video his video is always fun and engaging and good um, so uh, I, is he back in India is that what uh, came maybe, out maybe or uh, I mean this is you said this is just recently April end of April he uploaded that thing McDonald's Pakistan versus <laughs> hey we uh, did we've a, done a McDonald's, we did a McDonald's, in McDonald's India. India it was uh, interesting and, and it is different it's very different um, yeah I don't know he keeps I wonder if that was. I wonder if he's back or if that was just an old one, maybe. Nice, I like that one. Three hundred versus sixteen hundred dollars steak, and a food expert spot the difference. Well, if it's Wagyu, probably. I'm sure they could. Anyways, fantastic video. Please let us know other videos of him and other food videos we can react to because I'm so hungry right now. Yep. Please let us know down below. Just.